You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we gon' fuck around, fuck around all What's night. What's good, YouTube? Never 92, you're back again once again. And today, people, today we're for episode number 60. Nine of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, we took on Professor Kakui to become the first ever champion of Alola. Crazy stuff. If you missed out on that, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. But today, apparently, we're going to head into the Ruins of Conflict because Tapu Koko is waiting for us. So if you guys are hyped, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your supporters really appreciate it. And of course, you know, can't anybody let's play a game with the motherfucking Nappy Nation can. I would give us a quick recap, but it appears as if we don't really have much of a choice right now. Mm -hmm. The Ruins of Conflict. I still wonder why it is that Tapu Koko helped us that day. Was it because of some connection to Sogaleo, the legendary Pokemon of the Alola region? Yo, if they let us stop right here. No, they made us go in. I'm glad I stopped. I'm glad I stopped. Wait! And there's no strength rocks to push in this ruins. Of course not. This reminds me of when Hapu became the Kahuna of Pony Island. My heart is pounding in my chest. Is it because of the sacred guardian? Is Tapu Koko here with us? You said Tapu Koko was waiting, so of course Tapu Koko is here. Duh. Great Tapu Koko! It was because of your help that Cosmog lived and was able to become Sokaleo. Please allow me to thank you on its behalf. Thank you so very, very much. It's your turn next, Nappy. I want to see you show appreciation. Show your appreciation in the way that only a lowless champion could. I know you can do this, Nappy. I'll make sure your team is ready, too. So, battle it, essentially. Show appreciation. You reached out and touched the statue. You seem to hear a voice ringing in your head, as though it's coming from your Z-Ring. Good Solgaleo, it is time. Tapu Koko Koko! My boy! Tapu Koko appeared. Yeah, I want a Master Ball him just because. Fucking shit! It's an electric type. We're leaving with a water type. It's music! Yeah, I'm gonna go out to Delilah. His music is dope. It's like a dick. You ain't hitting me, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, the music with the drums. What did he go for? I didn't see what he went for. Whatever the fuck it was, it fucked me up just now. Yaga. Haha. I'm li literally gonna whittle him down with rock tunes. Our defense went up, but that looked like a special attacking move. I'm gonna heal again and see what he does. My boy! Electro Ball. What the hell? Aren't you supposed to be like this warrior or some shit? Agility? Bro, I'm lowering your speed. There's no point in you going for agility. So he's got that one mystery move. But I didn't see what it was. I don't recognize the animation either. Electro Ball and agility. I'm guessing it was a, like a fairy type move or something. Discharge. So he has discharge. That's his fourth move. So I'm guessing that was the fairy type move. I can't hit him again. If I hit him again, he'll. I have to hit him with a flying. Like acrobatics is the only thing I could hit him with. Because it's resisted. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Please don't kill Tapu Koko. Oh. 
if I get a crit and kill the top of I'm gonna be so sad. That's resisted. It's not stab. We're holding an item, and it's resisted. There we go. Just enough to put him in the red. I could hit him again, but I'm kind of nervous. And red is red. I'm going to try and catch him in the luxury ball as well. Stay in that ball, my boy. Put you in this luxury ball. Or don't. Whatever works for you. Whatever works for you. Do I attack him again? I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't know what to do. A lure ball? Should I capture him in a lure ball? Just stay in a luxury ball, my boy. Come on. You can't force us into this legendary encounter and be a dick about it. Come on now. The other ones we're gonna have to go and get. I can understand them being difficult to capture. But Mr. Coco, you know, I'm gonna acrobatics again. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Yolanda, be careful. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna go out to Delilah. Okay, we have Tapu Coco. <laughs> it's just barely where he can go. Okay, I know Agility has like 15 PP or some shit like that. With Electro Ball and Discharge, he should be good. Alright, he's literally as low as we can get him. He has like 10 points of health. Come on! Stay in the fucking Pokeball! Nature's Madness, that's what he hit us with. Bro. That does over 100 points of damage. I don't know if that's physical or special, though. I don't know if that's physical or special. Don't they all, don't all four Tapus have Nature's Madness, though? Luxury ball it is, my boy. Luxury ball it is, my boy. You got this. It's a luxurious Pokeball. You want to stay in there. Come on! It doesn't even shake. The ball doesn't even shake. But we'll know how much damage based off this if it's physical or special. That looks like a special move to me. That looks like a special move to me. And it does over 100 points of damage, so we can't take two of them. As much as I love this music, I just want Tom Coco to get in the fucking ball, my dude. Just get in the goddamn ball. Luxury ball, ahoy! It doesn't even shake. Are you supposed to capture Tapu Koko here? That thought always crosses my mind. Well, no, if you if you weren't able to catch it, it wouldn't even give you the option. Bro. I'm catching him in the lure ball. I mean, not lure ball, luxury ball. If he breaks out of the next 12 Luxury Balls. If he ends up struggle killing himself, that will be the final nail in the coffin that is my luck. My boy! Look at that, I spoke too soon! And a Luxury Ball too! That's the best Pokeball! Yeah! I will take it. I will take it. Look at him. I'm guessing that's all four of the Tapus on one page. Mmm. Tapu Coco, my boy. My boy! That Melee Melee Dex, though. The Land Spirit Pokemon. This guardian deity of Melee Melee is brimming with curiosity. It summons thunderclouds and stores their lightning inside its body. 
Bro, what do I name Tapu Koko? What do I name Tapu Koko? Do I just go like generic with it and call him Raiden? I don't know what to call him. What do you call Tapu Koko? I don't know what to call him. I don't have a name for him. I'm just gonna call him Zeus. I don't. I don't have a name for him. No, I'm gonna call him. Hermes? No. I'm just gonna call him Zeus. I don't know what else to name him. I don't have another name for him. I don't know what to call him. Send to a box. Sorry, Zeus, my boy. Zeus doesn't really fit him. But I don't know what else to call him. Let me know what you guys named your Tapu Cocos. See if we can get a good official nickname going. It's a Z. A Z crystal clattered to the floor at your feet. Tapunium Z. Hot dog. That's how you do the Guardians of Alola. Tapu Coco! I know it will aspire to be even to even greater heights at your side from now on, Nappy. But I'm so glad we could come here, and I've been weighing on my heart. Come on, Nappy. We should get back to the village. If we don't return soon, everyone will realize that we slipped away from the festival. We came up here to fucking fight a Pokemon instead of making babies. Is that a Totodile? Is that a Totodile on the top? Everyone looks like they're having so much fun that I don't think they even noticed we left. Oh, and the Battle Royals are about to begin. Bro? This nigga, put your shirt back on. Homeboy's got a Tauros. Olivia has a... Uh, Probo Pass. Hapu's got a Mudsdale. This nigga has our Meowth. I'm telling you, he's fucking our mother. He's fucking our mother. Oh, be more apparent. Game Freak, just be even more apparent. As if we didn't get it from the fact it's called the Professor's Mask. My nigga's tired out from spinning that stick. He is snoozing. He ain't got no job. He ain't got nothing to do tomorrow morning. Nigga is knocked out. All the music's gone. It's a beautiful festival, isn't it? Everyone looks so happy. I hope that you'll always stay just the way you are now, Nappy. Look how your joy has brought so much light to everyone here. I think if my mother would have smiled and laughed to see this, if she could have come. I think my mother is getting a bit better. She even tried to come tonight. I've been trying to help her understand what she did wrong, gently of course, but she needed someone to scold her. Yo, if Lucimi would've showed up, that would've been wild. Guzma too. But in the process, I think I've discovered what I have to do next. What is it that I can do? Nappy, I, I'm going to... Yeah, they teased this in X and Y with the fireworks at the fucking mansion. What was she gonna do? That was interrupted by those fireworks. We're to wait till 8th gen to land a smooch. Look at this! Everybody's so fired up! Whoa! We got the birth of Alola's strongest ever trainer to celebrate it after all. 
and I'm gonna keep training with the Lima for a while, and then I'm gonna beat my grams for real at last. And then I'm coming for you, champion Nappy. I, I, his voice has not been the same the past couple of episodes. Kakashi Nappy. Sorry, I mean champion. I'm sure everybody here wants to see your partners too. Come on and show us those partners that were there for so many discoveries, new experiences, and adventures on your island challenge. All you trial captains, remember getting your ass whooped? Do you remember this? Show him, show him, show him, show him, show him, show him. We just casually toss out Solgaleo like it's nothing. Mm hmm. You're positively glowing. I actually just whipped out my dick. That's what it was. They like, why even why even put that in there if you're not gonna show them? You should at least have the 3D model sitting there. Well, and the credits they roll. We have officially beaten Pokemon Sun and Moon, but I hear there's so much more in both games. And so Nappy's Island Challenge came to an end. To the, 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 the festival to celebrate the birth of Alola's first ever champion lasted until late into the night. It was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to meet you all. These times in Alola will always be my most precious memories. Who's speaking? The next day. Hmm? Huh? Now I wonder what will happen today. Was that the doorbell? Oh, that's got to be Kakui. Why don't you let him in, Nappy? No, Kakui has a fucking house key. He doesn't need to be let in. <laughs> Nappy! It's my boy Hal. It's a disaster! A total disaster! What's wrong, Hal? Oh, Auntie, hi, sorry. I'll explain later, but, but, but Nappy has to come with me right now. If we don't hurry, the ship's gonna leave. What? 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 Can they stop, like, teleporting us around? I would like to walk over there. It's just me. Is it just me that wants to do that? You know, Lily, Kanto is a long way from here. Try not to let the jet lag hit you too hard. She's going to Kanto? I wanna go? Burnett's, well, she said she'd be too sad to watch you go, so she wouldn't even come out with me. I know it's a lot to ask, but forgive her this time, would you? She did tell me to let you know the loft in the lab is yours to use indefinitely. So you can come back and stay whenever you like, Lily. You didn't tell us! How? I'm, I'm sorry, but I've decided I have to go to Kanto to help my mother get better, but more than that, to help myself get stronger. So is she gonna become... Is this like like that that like time loop? How she's gonna go to Kanto and it's like the story of Gen 1 all over again, just through Lily's eyes? Uh -huh. Of course, I'm sad to leave Alola. But the thought of going to Kanto also fills my heart with excitement. I'm going to become a real trainer and meet all kinds of wonderful Pokemon. I'm going to travel all around Kanto just like we did here in Alola for your island challenges. And no matter what happens on my journey, I'm going to be okay. Because of the smiles that you shared with me, you and Nappy and everyone here, thank you all so much. And that's why someday, someday I'll come back to Alola again. But, but I haven't gotten to say any of the things I wanted to say to you. So, so, ah, I'm gonna send you a letter. A really, really long one. You'd better wait. I will, How, And please, take this. Nappy, it may look a little worn, but that is because this is the most treasured belonging once. Once, not anymore. Got a Poké Dog. Blank expression. Then, I suppose, this is goodbye. 
Can I take the boat to Kanto? Why can't I go to Kanto? That's wild. Lily just up and dipped. So a Sharpedo jumps up and just snatches her off. Keeps going. Well, plot twist, indeed, to say the least. Oh, <laughs> how I know what it's like when you can't help but cry, but you know. Crying's for pussies. When you're saying goodbye to someone you love, you gotta show them one last smile. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I wanna go see my grumps. Yeah, let's all go home. We've got people waiting for us. Our families are waiting for us. Look at that. And the credits, they roll! <sighs> so we've officially beaten Pokemon Sun. That's wild. It still feels like yesterday. We are 69 episodes in. Giggity, giggity, fucking goo. And we have put in so much work on this playthrough. We've actually done everything that we possibly can. As far as I know, we've done everything in the game up until this point, with the exception of like, getting the awakening from our mom. I think you can sleep in uh, someone else's bed and get an awakening as well. But aside from that, we've literally done everything in the game up until this point. That's just how I like playing new Pokemon games. Like, we'll probably never have another LP of Sun or Moon on the channel that is this in-depth, that goes this far into the game. You know what I mean? Like, we won't bother getting all the different individual items and TMs and this and that, and yada, yada, yada. Because we'll probably either have... Uh, versus or soul link or co-op or something of Sun and moon from here on out the wonder lock the moon wonder lock. We're gonna have of course So I just want people to understand and know why we put in so much time and effort Look at how in the ride gear with Tapu Coco in the background I just want people to know why we put in so much time and effort to make sure to go through and do every little thing because that's just how I play the game and this is a let's play and we play through and just not worry about all this extra shit, essentially. So, Scooby Doo fucking do. Are we gonna change pictures? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we skip it? I wanna skip it. I appreciate everything you do, Nathaniel Peter Yam, but I kinda wanna skip it. I can't skip it. Alright. Show us our whole journey. Why not? Show us the whole fucking thing. Nobuhiki Arizumi. Shout out to that nigga. This is Alima and his gumshoes in the fucking trainer school. Yumoto. I know there was this many people at Game Freak. Didn't they make Gen 1 with like 12 people or some shit? Or like 20 people on staff? Now you niggas got like 600 people on staff making Pokemon game. So Guru Naka Nakatsui, trainer graphic design, Ken Sugimori, Emi Ando, Megumi Mizutani Take, Kanako Omori, bro, Olivia with her fucking Lichen Rock and Mallow. Oh, their shop, her Olivia's shop right next to Mallow's family shop. Mallow and her Steenie, ha, <laughs> Steenie. Shinya Asanuma. Creek and River. Alright. We can't skip it. I tried. I tried. Planeta. Character motion. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I mean let me stop being distracted by the fucking credits and just so impatient. I don't know how I feel. I mean, Sunny Moon was a really fun game. Um, 
would I prefer gym badges over island trials? I, I would like a mixture of both, to be honest. You know, I like how we had the island trials, but then you can go, you can always just go, like we did the episode where we went and battled the uh, trial captains. Why not do both? Why not have the trial, and then you battle the trial captain afterwards, and in turn, you know, you get the Z crystal that way, or a badge that way. I like that. That adds more RPG elements to the game rather than just going in the gym and battling a few trainers. You know, you actually have a task, an objective to do. I like that. I thought it was cool. So, I don't know, it's weird. Like, would I say that I would want just, like, Island Trials or an Island Trial-esque similar thing in future Pokemon games from here on out? I don't know, it's hard to tell, but where does Pokemon go from here? I think they kind of have to go back to badges for 8th Gen, because I feel like Island Trials, they can only do that because it's such a specific aspect of, like, the culture of Alola. That's the only reason they could really take advantage of that. You know, like, could you imagine doing region trials in Kanto it just doesn't seem to fit you know what I mean like I feel like island trials only work in uh, Alola so unless they dive into some other culture in whatever the next region is made after I don't know if they could actually do that or not so I, I don't know I don't know I would I, I'm cool with it either way I like gym badges I like island trials they're very similar they're very, they, they parallel each other each other well well enough to to not really say whether I like one or over the other or not. <sighs> whether or not I can sit there and say that Pokemon Sun and Moon are like my favorite Pokemon games ever made. It's a ton of fun, don't get me wrong. I love Lusamine, I love the storyline, the legendary Pokemon are great. But I don't know, 5th Gen just, there's something about 5th Gen. 5th Gen just at the time had a total package. You know what I mean? And they only improved upon what they put out with Black 2, White 2. So, whether or not I could say Sun and Moon are the absolute best, I mean, when it comes to just the, I don't know, I don't know, I love them, I love them, I'm not even going to attempt to rank them, I'm not even going to attempt to rank them, because that's just going to cause all-out war and chaos, I'm not even going to attempt that. I, I thoroughly enjoyed Pokemon Sun and Moon, people think that, uh, sometimes I have such a negative, I guess I just have a resting bitch personality, because I always comment on, like, negative things and whatnot, and of course, everyone got on me for hating on Lily and whatnot, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. The, the, the game developers, they put their characters and they develop their story in a sense to, to draw you in, to invoke some sort of response or reaction, whether it's a positive or a negative one, it's still a good reaction. You know, I still played, I still enjoyed the game. I'm sure at the end of the day, they don't care whether or not I like Lily. They got my money. I bought two copies of the fucking game over here, so they got my money. They don't care whether or not I like Lily. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I'm glad again that I took my time with it I didn't rush the let's play and try and speed run it and get through it all for the sake of just getting through it No, I enjoyed it. I loved it and from what I hear from a lot of people There's still a ton of post game for us to do as well our longest LP on this channel is Alpha Sapphire When the game first came out we played through it very similarly Alpha Sapphire was 83 episodes long. We're in episode 69 now but in Alpha Sapphire, there were like 15 episodes of catching legendary Pokemon. As far as I know, the only the legends that we need to capture are Tapu Bulu, Tapu Lele, or Tapu Lele, Tapu Bulu, and Tapu Fini. So, when it comes down to, well then again, if the Ultra Beasts are considered legends, I don't know if they are or not, we'll see. Because I want to catch the Ultra Beasts too. So, I don't know, we'll see. There's still a couple extra things for us to do here. And we'll see what ends up happening, if we actually break our record of 83 episodes or not. Because that would be interesting to see. I think we might. I think we might because there's been so much to do in this game. I think we might break 83 because that's only 14 episodes from now. Huh. Huh. Look at old Guzman and his That's a really great pairing as well. Sometimes the evil boss and their Pokemon don't really match up, but Galissapod and Guzma, I like that. I think they really do match up well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Dan Stevens. Shout out to you, Dan Stevens. These are the longest credits I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Canela. Canela! Bro, everybody eats! This much check out my girl Canela. Special thanks localization. All of the Aether Foundation. With Wiki. I like how Wiki was just generally good throughout the entire thing. Even though everyone around her 
So that strap going across the top of her chest is about to pop off and put someone's eyes out. Even though like everyone around her was just so evil and even though she knew it, she just didn't care. She was just generally good and she helped you. I like that. I like that a lot. Hmm. <laughs> that Clefable. <co-fable. laughs> Clefable don't give a shit. Mario Club, Digital Hearts. You guys think, you think they, you think they film the leader, they film, they design like the, the important characters after the Pokemon, or do you think they design the Pokemon after the important characters? Because obviously like Beware matches Lusamine and Team Aether, and Glissapod and Guzma go well together, Salazzle and Plumeria go well together, so it's like, do they design Plumeria? after Salazzle, with the intention of Salazzle being her ace the entire time? Or is it just convenience? Or was Salazzle modeled after Plumeria? Look at these niggas. Silvali and Gladion. Even them! They have like similar hair and everything. I hope... Well, I don't know what the post game's about. I think post game's just about Ultra Beast. I don't know if you can... I don't know if they talk about like the story of Sovali anymore. Type Null and Sovali. I wish there was like a, a story. See, this would be like perfect DLC. If Pokemon ever did DLC, it would be perfect to do like a DLC revolving around Gladion and like the story of how he got Type Null and ran away and everything. You know, like the like the story from his point of view and how they grew together and whatnot. I think that'd be dope. Oh God, Kui without a hat on. It's like when you see Neo with no hat. Neo looks like a fucking frog with no hat on. That's why he always wears it. Kakui, keep the hat on, my boy. Keep the hat on. I think it still has a rock rock. Let you evolve into a lichen rock, my boy. Jinichi Masuda. Shout out to you, my boy. My boy, my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy. It's second nature now, say it. Can we, can we... He actually cannot skip the... We've been here for so long! Why do they make you sit through such long credits? Aww. Everyone's smiles shine so brightly. Those smiles led us to so many other people. And those meetings will lead us to a bright future. I'm so glad I got to meet everyone. Oh, this is speaking from... I'm so glad I got to meet you. Is this speaking from Lily? Because it was a package that we saw. Pokemon Sun. Such a close bond to a Pokemon and she just up and goes to Kanto. It's alright though, we'll take care of him, don't worry. Hot damn. That's a dope picture though. This is the package that Hal sent to Lily? Because that's his island challenge pendant, right? Hot fucking damn. And we beat Pokemon Sun! That's fucking lit! No pun intended, because, you know, Pokemon Sun and whatnot. I want to dive back in, and hopefully they just put us put us in there. Don't do anything. Oh shit! There's a core in our own fucking room. Hot fucking dog. Cena wants to talk to you. Huh? I said that you just collect another Zygarde call. Each of these calls moves are memorized by the Zygarde cube, so you can use it to teach Zygarde moves as you like. Everything's up to you. 
like how it's in our fucking room, too. That was dope. Still haven't unpacked all these goddamn boxes. How long have we been here? We still haven't unpacked all these fucking boxes. What the hell? I just want to go out here real quick. Don't do nothing. Looks like you slept well, Nappy. Oh, Lola! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Oh, yeah? Oh, and there's another Cantoni and Meowth. Look at that shiny cone on your head, kitty kitty. It's not another. It's the same one that's always been here. I finally got my grams to go all out and be serious and I battle against me. I got some sweet rewards, so take this one, Nappy. Good luck is best shed. A Decidium Z. Fucking swag. I don't even have a fucking Decidui. An Incidium Z. I don't even have a fucking Incident Roar. I'll take it. Now you can power up too, Nappy. That's so nice of you, Hal. Thank you. No, no problem, Auntie. Say, is Kanto like really far away? Uh, it's pretty far. Well, it's true that it's not the next island or anything, but it's still close enough to visit whenever you want to. Mm, fuck me. Alright, then it's decided. I'm gonna get stronger and stronger, and then I'm gonna travel the world with my Pokemon. I'm gonna go find Lily and my dad, too. He is the antagonist, or his dad's missing. The fuck? Well, I mean, our dad's missing, too. We don't know. Well, our dad's supposed to be Ash. Quote unquote. Your father? Oh, yeah, him. Oh. He's a strong trainer, real strong I think, but I guess he really hated being the son of a kahuna and everything, yeah. So he works far away from Alola these days. 20 bucks, his dad is Brock. I think I'm gonna go train myself up at the battle tree, then beat Chunapi. And I'll be a champion next time I see him. Seems like a nice little present, eh? <laughs> battle tree? What is a battle tree, Hal? Oh, it's this thing way deep on Pony Island. Anybody who passes the island challenge or is strong enough to, anyway, can battle it out with their Pokemon, or so they say. Nappy, let's have the base battle ever at that Pokemon League sometime. No backing out. Swag. Blank expression. That's right. Now you're the current champion. Everyone's going to want to challenge you. We actually get challengers? Huh. I just want to be able to like leave out of here without any story happening. Hey you. You're the one they call Nappy. Uh, not me. I can see right through your lies, you tell boy. A certain interested party sent me here to give you this. Enigmatic card. You should have a look at what it says, but take care when you read it. No one else is to know of my visitor that card. Creepy in the demo, creepy in the game. The enigmatic card. A mysterious card written on the quest for you to go to a guest room and a column motel on Route 8. Huh. Well, I think here's a good enough spot I think to go wrap today's episode. I want to actually do some exploring, especially on Mount Lanakila and everything. Next time will be an hour of power. I know last time it only ended up being 45 minutes, but that wasn't... I didn't realize that while I was recording until afterwards, and it is what it is. Anyways, next time will be an hour of power, episode 70, and uh, we can either continue to explore Pony Island or go to Route 8 and see what's moving and shaking up there. So, either way, Hour of Power is on deck next, and then we need to catch the Tapus as well. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, if you've enjoyed our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play so far, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know nobody can Let's Play a game like the fucking Nappy Nation can. With that though, I'm going to get about. Thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. We out this bitch. Bye!